It may be hard to believe it, but Thanksgiving will be here before you know it. And we are cooking up a delicious side dish here in the Sustainable Food Center kitchen this morning. I've got, uh, for me, Nunez, culinary director at Fresas, and also Marianne Lyles, the uh, marketing and events coordinator, joining me this morning out here. Thanks to both of you. I love all these ingredients you have here on the counter for us, for me. So what are we gonna be doing? We're gonna make some chorizo cornbread stuffing. Um, and I'm just going to start cooking now, if that's okay with you. A great twist yeah. on stuffing. A great twist. Uh huh. I'm just going to start with a little bit of oil, not a lot, because I'm going to add some bacon. And as we know, bacon has a lot of fat in it. Yes, yes, that's um, probably why we like it. That is why we like it. That's the reason why I like it. Mm -hmm. So, um, And with this, we want to start at a medium-low heat, okay. because it has a lot of fat and we want to render that fat. That way it's all delicious. and amazing in the stuffing. Um, with that, I'm gonna add some chorizo okay. that we make in-house at Fresas. And again, low and slow with these two guys, so we wanna render all of that flavor out of it. Um, and this will take about four to five minutes, you know. And Marianne, the reason we're making this dish today is actually because you're offering some pretty great Thanksgiving specials there at Fresas. Yes, so this year we are excited to be offering our Fresa's Thanksgiving menu, and the idea is just to let us do the cooking for you so you have more time to enjoy hey. your family and friends. I like that idea. Um, and so we'll offer a full um, roasted heritage turkey meal with the sides and gravy and cranberry sauce, or you'll be able to buy any of those items on their own. Great, so order that ahead of time and then pick up yeah. before Thanksgiving, on Thanksgiving Day. So we'll be taking orders through Friday, November 21st, and then pickup will be the day before Thanksgiving. Great, and for people that aren't familiar with Fresas, of course, you're located on Lamar. Yes. We're at 915 North Lamar, and we are a Austin-owned and operated drive through restaurant. We have family-style meals that are centered around our wood-grilled chicken and freshly made sides and salads. Okay, we've been letting the bacon and the chorizo render there on the stove. Now what? Now we're actually gonna set it aside so we can sweat over the veggies. Okay. Oh, it is smelling so good in here already. And this is just the start. It is just the start. <laughs> I'll whisper. Okay, now what's, going, so what's now, going in the pot? If you notice, I kept some of the oil because mm -hmm. now I'm gonna add some onions. And I left some of the oil so they pick some of that flavor from the bacon, from the yeah. chorizo, all the spices that are in the chorizo. You want to keep that in the cornbread, in the mm -hmm. veggies. Man, I got to tell you, for me, this is a really good sounding idea for Thanksgiving. Right? Let, let you do the work. Uh, story <laughs> of my life. <laughs> I bet. All right. Celery? Celery, garlic, um, onions. We're going to give that a head start. And then I'm going to add the jalapenos. You know, we're in Texas. We're using cornbread. We're using chorizo. Yeah, got to have Why the jalapenos. Not, right? So right now I'm going to add the kale, which everybody loves kale, right? We're in Austin. Well, even if you don't, you should because it's very good for you. And cooked this way, you're not even going to know. Right? And we got it. at the farmer, at the local farmer's uh, market. Yeah, it looks great. It's actually from Johnson's Backyard Garden. Good. And uh, the jalapenos, too. We got them at the SFC market so you know you also feel good because it's like oh, I'm just using yeah. local products supporting and, your local farmers yeah it's fun and stuff mm -hmm. so I'm gonna add the chicken stock mm -hmm. about two cups and then you got to reduce that by half so now that this is reduced by half I'm gonna add some butter gotta have the butter you have to you just <laughs> have to it's like really why good. not right make sure that it's melty, and now what we're actually going to do, we're going to season with herbs, some fresh sage, some thyme, and then one of my favorite ingredients, tamari. Mm. So you're just adding one more flavor there. One more flavor, right? Pouring that all in with the meat. Yeah. And Mix this cornbread, I dried it overnight. All right. Um, just as kind of a little bit stale and it soaks up more mm -hmm. flavor. And then we and then go in. Pop that in the oven? Yep. For how long? Uh, 350 degrees for about 25 minutes or until it's what I like to call GBD. Golden brown and delicious. GBD. Yeah, GBD. 
Here and is the finished product. The finished product that is definitely like that. GBD right? right there. Good. Yeah. All right. For me and Marianne, thanks so much. Definitely check out Fresas. Good idea for Thanksgiving to get your turkey there, your side dishes. And then, of course, stop by the farmer's market to pick up some fresh ingredients today, Saturday, and on Tuesday.